Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG! Now by pressing that button, we can go and fight Smithy the end of the game! However, there's something else I want to take care of first. Now you guys probably honestly saw this one coming. Yes, I would like a shiny stone. I need some fireworks! Hey buddy, got some fireworks for me? Sure, 500. That's crazy expensive, but worth it. Hey there, little lady. I got some fireworks for you. Yes, I would. And off we go. Now, what is this shiny stone used for? If you've noticed, there was a sealed door in Monstro Town that the shiny stone will now open. And we find the secret boss. I would assume we are the strongest knight. I don't especially know of anyone stronger than Mario. And of course we will. things I want to say about this battle before I get going in it. First of which is, these crystals are by and large the largest threat in this fight, not that Culex isn't powerful on his own. Now of these, the wind crystal is generally a jerk, so I'm going to take care of it first. The fire crystal and water crystal both use almost pure elemental attacks, which we're not going to get hurt much by at all. So they're not much of a threat to us. The Earth Crystal we're taking out after the Wind Crystal, because its attacks aren't considered elemental, and as such, we still get hurt by them. Now to start it off, I'm using... where is it? Rock Candy! Four Rock Candies will take out that green... No, not a Max Mushroom! We'll take out the Wind Crystal. Now, the Wind Crystal is exceedingly resilient to normal attacks, though it has really weak... It has really low hit points. And this is why I say it's a jerk. It uses status effect crap. Please don't hit Mario, don't hit Mario, don't hit Mario, don't hit Mario. Don't hit Mario. Yo! Don't hit Mario, don't hit Mario, don't hit Mario, you jerk! Haha. Uh -huh. And that will hurt anybody. Yeah, dang it, quit focusing on Mario. He's the only one that takes damage from half phase. Well, at least he's a mushroom, so he's not taking that much from it. Rock candy! There we go. Now, let's see here. I kind of need Mario, so let's, uh help him out here. There we go. Yeah, figures I get hit for 48. Don't hit Mario, don't hit Mario, don't hit Mario, don't hit Mario. Don't hit Mario. Thank you. That'll hurt anybody. Don't think it hurts her for much, though. Because she has the lazy shell on, and oh crap, I almost forgot about two legs. Hulex has a nasty, nasty melee attack. So it's kind of important to actually focus on turn order and figure out when it's his turn. He gives absolutely no warning when he's going to attack. That hurts everyone. Despite it being ice-based, it's still saw-based, which is not elemental. Now, a couple kind of nice things to... Ooh, 
A couple kind of nice things to note about this battle is it, by and large, is an homage to the Final Fantasy series. Because if you took notice, oh geez, they're almost dead. If you took notice, the game was designed, or the game was made by Square. Screw Pog. Dang. The game was made by Square, though. Hulex himself is a reference, though he's not actually from any of the Final Fantasy games, he was designed in the style of Final Fantasy games. He has two different sprites, one for the one for in battle, one for outside of battle. You're a jerk, and you can die. Now the Earth Crystal has, I believe, the lowest defense but the highest hit points, so there's that. Now even the music in this battle is ripped almost directly from Final Fantasy IV. So there's that for you. Quit hitting Mario with that, you piece of crap! Oh jeez, that 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 wasn't good. Didn't Mario have like a ton of hit points? Maybe I should stop talking about Final Fantasy and start talking about Hulex and me dying to him. Come back! Come back, Mario! And as has been pointed out to me a couple times now, you can use the timed hits on Toadstool's attack. Or Toadstool's Cures. I did not know this. That is very useful information that I really wish I had known before. And this is gonna go a lot easier once I take out that freaking Earth Crystal. Die. Thank you. Now next up, I'm gonna have um, Bowser and Toadstool focus on fire. And Mario take out water. Oh, uh, yeah, I think we can survive. Just because the water is weak to fire, so I can use Mario's Super Flame. Don't get Mario, don't get Mario, don't get Mario. Thank you. Not a big fan of Dark Star. Ow! You're not supposed to hit Toadstool for that much damage. Hitting Y repeatedly! That wasn't so bad. My timing was way off on that. I don't know how the timed hit still worked. Screw Pog! Dang, my timing was still off on that one too. I'm not used to doing timed hits on Toadstool. Oh jeez, that hurt like a son of a gun. Well, at least it's Shredder. I can cure Mario now. Super Flame! Did I even target the right enemy? I did! I certainly hope I did. Therapy, 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 Mario needs some therapy. I kinda got the timing down on the uh, therapy. Be nice if you quit hitting Mario with all your magic! Okay, wasn't paying attention, and that's why it hurts like a son of a gun. Super flame. Hit Y repeatedly! Die, piece of crap. There we go. Okay, um, we could use some group hug, actually. Aha, that got her. Very much doubt I can win this battle in one turn. Or in one video. Oh well. That hurt. Yes, that hurt very much. The hard part's over with, though. Oh, the hard part is over with. 
Though I will say... I forgot what I was gonna say. Good for me! I forgot what I was gonna say! Don't hit Mario, he's weak. I've actually... I've actually drugged this battle out so long before that you like ran out of MP. Which is kind of funny. That was back before I knew what I was doing, though. Yep, yeah, running out of time. Ow. Not enough time to finish the fight in this video, but next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG, we will finish taking out Culex, now that the freaking crystals are out of the way. Until then... <laughs>